In a sense, we can consider mathematics as a language. In this language, the numbers can be thought of as the nouns, the four basic operations, the plus, minus, times, divide, and the exponential operations can be thought of as the verbs. The order of operations prioritizes these operations. So consider um, an expression 3 plus 2 times 5. So the expression has two operations. There's an addition and there's a multiplication. Notice we get different results depending on which operation we do first. For instance, if I add first, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 5 times 5 is 25. If I multiply first, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 plus 10 is 13. Oh. When it comes down to it, adding first gives us an incorrect answer, while multiplying first gives us a correct answer. Which means the correct answer is actually the 13. And you can verify that by, if I try this, 3 plus 2 times 5, let's see what my calculator does, get 13. So adding first gives us an incorrect answer, multiplying gives us correct. The reason why is because there is an order to these operations. A numerical expression only contains numbers and operations. When evaluating a numerical expression that has two or more operations, perform the operations using the order of operations. And that order of operations is we first deal with anything that are, is inside parentheses or grouping symbols. Then we evaluate numbers with exponents. Then we focus, focus on the multiplication and division from left to right. So you could multiply first or maybe divide first. It's whatever left to right. And then you add or subtract going from left to right. A common mnemonic for remembering this is the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, where the P stands for parentheses and grouping symbols, E stands for exponents, multiplication and division next, and technically you do those left to right, so division could be first, and then addition and subtraction, again left to right. So 2 times 4 squared minus 8, uh, no parentheses, so I would start with the exponent. So 2 times 4 squared is 2 times 16 minus 8. Then I would deal with the multiplication. 2 times 16 is 32. And 32 minus 8 is 24. For part B, 5 times 11 plus 2. I would multiply first. 5 times 11 is 55 plus 2 is 57. And then C, um, there is subtraction and addition. For those, I just go left to right. So I would start with the 13 minus 4. So 13 minus 4 is 9, and 9 plus 8 is 17. A bit more complicated. When you see a fraction, basically we assume that the top and bottom have parentheses around them. They're hidden parentheses, but we can assume that they're grouped. So I want to simplify the top by itself and simplify the bottom by itself. Then worry about that whole fraction bar, the division. So on the top, I would deal with the exponents. This would be 25 minus 4, which is 21. On the bottom, I have 12 divided by 4 times 2 plus 1. So 12 divided by 4 would be first. And so that would be 3 times 2 plus 1 is 6 plus 1, or 7. So ultimately, this whole thing becomes 21 divided by 7, and so 3. All right, one last one. Uh, 31 plus 4 times 12 plus 3 times 11 minus 2. Uh, I would go with, deal with the print, uh, start with the bracket, and inside the bracket there is this parentheses. So I would start with the 11 minus 2. Oops, 12 plus 3 times 11 minus 2 is 9. And so 3 times 9 would be next. 31 plus 4 times 
12 plus 27. And then inside the bracket is 12 plus 27, so 39. And then 31 plus 4 times 39. 4 times 9 is 36. 12, 15, 156. So 31 plus 4 times 39 is 156. And then add them together, we end up with 187.